When a Christian like me will get up and see Allah causes people to go astray, Allah does not love the unbeliever. You will see some kind of pattern where we will be exposing verses from the Quran, making all the Muslims understand one thing, that there is a problem with a person who is identifying himself here as God. Because first, according to the entire Bible, guys, according to everything that we know, you and me, this is my thought I'm giving, I'll make you guys understand one thing. The only person who causes people to go astray is the devil. The only person who wants people to go to hellfire is the devil. That is what you think you believe. But what if I told you that in the Quran, Allah himself is playing the function to cause people to go astray. Allah himself does not love some people and is making some people to go and spend eternity in hellfire. The two passages, chapter 3 verse, uh, chapter 3, verse 32, chapter 4. 30 verse 45 make sure, makes us to understand that Allah does not love the unbelievers. Allah has no kind of love at all. He does not love people like me. He does not love atheists. He does not love Buddhists. He does not love any kind of person that does not believe in him. First thing. And because he does not love him, us, he causes us. He causes people. Even some Muslims themselves, they know and they believe true within them that they know that they are not secured 100% with Allah. They know it. They know it. If you ask a Muslim, if you die right now, where are you going to? Their own prophet even said in some other passages that he himself he does not even know where he's going to. He's not 100% sure that he's going to where he's going to. He's not 100% sure that he knows where he's going to. By the end of the day, <laughs> He is the origin of people to go astray. According to the Bible, the person who is responsible to make people to go astray is the devil. And the verses to make sure that uh, Muhammad, uh, uh, Allah is causing people to go astray is actually found in Quran chapter 2 verse 26 and then Quran chapter uh, 7 verse 155. Those two verses. <sighs> Guys, he causes many to stray. He may lead into the right path, but he causes not to stray except those who forsake the path. So if you decide that you don't want to follow Jesus, you, want, you don't want to follow Muhammad, people like me, you decide that you don't want to follow Muhammad, he will definitely, I saw in a verse, there was another verse, I'll show you guys, you can check my other videos, I only show the verses, I show the verses and the references clearly, I don't give my thoughts, I only interpret here directly. So, there was a verse about uh, Allah does not love the unbelievers. This is it even here. Allah does not love the unbelievers and he guides whom he wants and he, mistreat, he misleads whom he wants to mislead. Guys, I beg you. This is the work of the devil. Get away from Islam. Get away from Islam. According to my understanding of God, God loves. God wants people to live forever in eternity with him. God wants people to come to spend the whole, the rest of eternity in heaven with him. But at the end of the day, what do we find? We find somebody here making us understand that he himself is the origin of the cause of people. It means they have been predestined to go to a specific place because Allah knows, according to you guys, knows everything, omnipotent, omni, omniscient, omnipotent. He knows everything. If I was a Muslim, he knows everything according to, uh, from the right from the beginning to the end of the existence of human beings. He knows all of them. So he's the one who causes whom he wants to stray and he's the one who causes whom he wants to be saved. Guys, I beg you, give your life to Christ. Get away from Islam. Get away from Islam. All these are the references I'm showing in the video here. Simply, uh, simply go through the references and decide yourself whether you want to continue believing this or not. Stay blessed.